War has no power to transform. In the end, war's power is that it reveals. And in people like Bud and other people who, in their moment of truth, had their true character revealed by that horrific experience of warfare. To survive the kind of combat from which individuals are selected for the Medal of Honor is rare in its own right. It's an even smaller number that are alive to tell about it. And whether the recipients like it or not, they have then been anointed in a way, or certainly singled out as extraordinary heroes. What we see in the individuals who have received the Medal of Honor is that in their moment of truth, the very essence of who they are, the most profound composition of their character was on full display. What defines Bud really, it's two words, it's selfless service. When I was a cadet at West Point, he became a role model for many of us. He was an inspirational figure. He provided a wonderful example. In West Point, while he was there, he recognized the importance of the kind of leadership that incorporates the value of the troops that you are leading. He looks at young people, he looks at students, he looks at people who are desiring to learn as individuals he really loves to support and help in their development. Paul has become a voice for the veterans that never felt as though they had one. And it's so important because being a veteran is not just somebody that wore the uniform. It's somebody that cared enough about this nation to stand up and whether they volunteered or whether they were asked to go or told to go, you know, they went. I was there in Vietnam, basically the same time Paul was there, except I was with the Marines. And the tragedy of the experience was not as much in Vietnam as much as is coming home. Many of the veterans that came back from the war in Vietnam had a very hard time. Many of them weren't accepted back into society, suffered great trauma that, you know, at the time wasn't necessarily recognized. Paul could have, like so many other Vietnam veterans, could have turned his back and said, I'm dumb done, and wouldn't do it because he didn't want to see that happen to today's veteran. To have an advocate, someone who is their voice in Paul, meant everything to them. Paul has educated me about the plight of the military family, that behind every soldier or veteran is a family who also makes sacrifices and bears burdens that the average American will never understand, will never know. Having left our precious United States Army, he became a leader both in civil society but also in corporate America. So he's really unique in that regard and he represents the best of both of those qualities. When you meet Bud Buca, what you see is a man who's humble, who cares deeply and is interested in getting to the bottom of, of the issue. Whatever that is, when you speak to him, he's a, he's a man who's on a mission. He's gonna do the right thing no matter what, and he's gonna pursue it no matter what cost. We are in really tough times, obviously, with a continued health crisis, a pandemic, and the resulting economic collapse. It's people like Paul that pull you through, that give you inspiration. He brings us a sense that we can get through this, and we can get through this together. That no one of us is strong enough to make it without all of us working together. But I just want you to know that so many of us are very, very proud of you this evening. You're a personal inspiration, and I am humbled to know you. I can't think of anyone who deserves this award more than you. If I know Paul, I know that he's going to get up there and say that he doesn't deserve the award. But you know what? You do, Paul. You do deserve the award. So accept it gracefully and make the remarks that people want to hear and come back and tell me about it. Bud, very simply, you are the best. I love you. I love your family and everything that you have done in our relationship has been just a spectacular memory. Bud, we love you and we are eternally grateful for all that you do for our nation and for us personally. Congratulations on this night. 
Congratulations on the award. God bless you, and thank you for all that you have done for all of us for so long. Well done, my friend. Uh, airborne, air assault, and rock us on.